Good morning. This is Adam Wise of Andor Technology, an Oxford Instruments company. And in this short video, I want to quickly show how manual X calibration works in Solace. So right now I have a camera hooked up. This is a Murana 4BV11 SCMOS camera. I'm recording a spectra here. Uh, this is the time average of a bunch of different emitters going on. And uh, although I have this in pixel number right now, what I want to do is, for my current setup, have a way in Solace to transform this axis to wavelength. So this is a great example for using manual X calibration, which is where I'm going to build a lookup table that corresponds each pixel to some wavelength value. And it's going to be calculated once. This is uh, in my setup here, which I'll show later. I have a light source, a multicolor light source that's pulsed through a grating that's mounted on the table discreetly without a, without a real spectrometer focused onto the camera. So I only need to calibrate for one viewpoint. So you can see here, uh, I have my, this is actually my blue, my green buried in there, my red emission. This is the first order, and then this is the second order out here. So how do I know that? I'll go through that more in depth later, but I just wanted to give you a quick view. I can actually show you the, the zero order if I run this at a lower exposure rate. I'll run this live. And I'm going to tilt my setup a little bit to give you the zero order on the screen. Oops, wrong way. There's my very bright zero order. And I know that, that my dispersion direction is in, in this direction. So this is longer wavelength out here. So very little dispersion. This is a pretty, a pretty uh, lightly ruled grading. But blue, green, and red. Uh, blue and green are overlapping a little bit. And then um, my second order out here. So what I want to do is to use the manual calibration feature to, to set up a correspondence between pixel number and wavelength. Again, I could do that completely offline, uh, post hoc, or you know, after uh, uh, the data is taken, I can do the analysis. But I, just, I would like to have that done in Solace so that I can uh, have that live while I'm recording. So I'm going to manual X calibration. And what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll clear this real quick, delete my current. And I'll find uh, the pixel that corresponds to the peak of my, of my known, known uh, wavelength. So I'm going to capture that pixel. I know that corresponds to 480 nanometer light, well, according to the spec sheet. Um, my green value is a little bit mixed in there, so I'm just going to leave that off for now. I'm just going to calculate on the red, capture that. That's approximately 640 nanometers. And then finally, the second order of the blue, so that should be capture 960, so twice the wavelength. And I can choose the fitting function that I'm going to do. Uh, up to a third order polynomial. I'll just pick quadratic for now. I just want something rough and ready that will do a good job of let me se letting me show my separated channels. So if I choose calibrate there, now I have an actual wavelength axis rather than just a pixel number axis. And this will, depending on how, what I have checked here, apply both either to the current data or to new acquisitions as well. So if I close this, my calibration is now in effect. If I record a frame, now I'm getting my new data uh, labeled with that wavelength axis. And just to show you the individual channels, I'm going to do this as part of a longer demonstration later. Uh, if I reduce this to, say, one millisecond, I should be able to pick off some of the individual emitters. So you can see that now I'm actually capturing my different, my different peaks at different times, turning on and off. And they're still mixed together because I'm running uh, with a uh, too slow to keep up. This is kind of an artifact. I'm, I'm mixing multiple channels together. But the relevant part is now, now that now I have a, a wavelength axis to show off. So I have my, I can determine just by sight, this is now my green channel. Now my blue channel's on. And now my red channel, or sorry, the, the first order of my red channel is on there. First order of my blue channel is on there. Let me see if I can catch my red channel. That'll be a little bit tough. But if I then want to remove that x-axis calibration, so I'm going to make this window a little smaller, close this. When I'm recording new data, that wavelength axis is still in effect. So if I want to remove that, what I'll have to do, if I, if I just wanted to do pixel number again or apply a different calibration, I'll remove the x-axis calibration either from the current data or new acquisitions. So I'll pick new acquisition here, close this. And now I'm back to pixel number. All right, so if you've got any questions about calibration, either discreetly here or in a spectrograph, uh, feel free to contact me at a.wise at andor.com or visit the Andor website for more information. All right, thanks and have a good rest of your day.